watch it. We're going to try and grab her. Ooh, g'day Salty fam, today we're down here at Mindari at ultra low tide, searching for these things, that's a sea urchin, we're going to try and grab up a few of these fellas, for the saltwater pond. As you know, it's been under a bit of maintenance. It's good now, guys. Well, it's, I'm still paranoid about it. This is how it's looking at the moment. We have our pearl scale butterfly there and some fox face. A huge amount of yellow tail chromis, blue and the silver kind. I think we have 10 and six. We also got our puffer fish there. I will be getting rid of these puffers like I have got rid of everything else that was in the pond, Salty Fam. Everything's gone. Luna the Moon Rats, everything is out and we're starting from scratch. They're in there just to eat the mullet that's left. There's about five mullet that are just too small and fast for me to catch. So once they're gone, I'll scoop those guys out. Ah, what an amazing day, Salty Fam. Check it out, it is just gorgeous. Pro algaes are all out. There's like little bits of calerpa and I don't know all the other stuff, but it's just beautiful. The amount of abalone and everything that are on all the rocks. Small abalone everywhere. But we're after urchins. Let's have a little look under here. So many different colored algaes under there. I'm just winging this. I can't see anything of what I'm filming. I've just got it reached down and I, I'm just hoping for the best. So it's not too bad. You're seeing this and I'm seeing this for the first time. Wonder what that fish was. Not really the best viz considering how flat and calm it is. It's crazy. I thought it'd be crystal clear and dead. Merchant number two. He's a little fella. An itty bitty guy. Oh, I was hoping that was a hermit crab. That would have been cool. Gonna stay up and just wait for movement to find the hermits. It's a slow, you have to be patient. I'm not good at being patient. Urchin number three. How you going, dude? Cool looking sea star. Another urchin for the bucky. What's that? One, two, three, four. Four urchins so far. I reckon there's bound to be another one or two in here somewhere. Is that another one? Oh, he's a dead one. That's a shame. We could have saved that. He's pretty stuck on. Yeah, but he can't get that fella off. I don't want to injure him in any way, so we'll leave him. Another little guy. Look at all the stuff this guy's collected. <laughs> We've collected a bunch. He's definitely a collector. Let's 
Get him in. Is it a collector or a decorator? I think it's decorator. <laughs> My bad. All right, let's keep checking. I was sure I saw another one in here, to be honest. Oh yeah, look. This fella down in here, he's loaded up too. Let's see if we can get him off without hurting him. There we go. Woohoo! These nems are confusing, they look a bit like urchins. I find another couple of red ones like that. It's just these nems look like those red ones. How devastating is this salty fam? I've just come across one of those common shore eels that this is the second one I've only ever seen ever coming to here. I don't, I'm pretty sure he's dried up in cactus, but let's pop him in the water and There's no chance. That sucks. If we had found him just, oh, I don't know, yeah. hours earlier, we could have saved him too. What a shame. I've only ever seen two, ever. And I've been coming here for 15 plus years. That's nuts. The uncommon shore eel. Let's keep up the search. There's a couple of decent sized fish under here. It's a stripy one and a big one to the left. Not sure exactly what they are, but check out this snail salty fan. It's got a huge bit of macroalgae on it. Monster. I think it's a turban snail. I think. I could be wrong. If you know what the name is, comment, comment it down below. But <laughs> that's madness. Okay. We'll get it somewhere slightly deep. That's pretty cool. These are hazardous ads. I nearly fell in a few little holes. You're walking and then here at the tide pool in the drink. Get your ass. I think this fellow's on the move. On the move to the bucket. You can take the in with you, mate. That's cool. Switch out the water a bit. Alright, let's keep hunting. Bad little hole, Sophie fan. Still all this we could be searching, but I think I've got enough. Smash it to the fish shop now. We'll see you there. Yo! Here we are. This is slowly becoming my favorite display. This is the little one as soon as you walk in. It's looking amazing. That's my goal, to have inside looking like this and then turn the pond into an awesome looking tide pool. We'll have the two fox face, the butterfly. I want to get some Pakistani butterflies. I also want to get a coral margin, some Pakistani butterflies, angels and tangs. Comment down below what tangs and angels you think we should get for the saltwater pond. Man, this is looking so good. The colors are just popping. That little clam is so blue. And that, that trackie, oh my God. Down at the shop today. Upgrades galore happening. Everyone, I'll grab our fish today. I don't know, you're gonna have to tune in next week and see. Also, while we were here, Salty Fam, we picked up our zoos. Our chalice, our chalice, and our fungi is a morph that we collected while we were up there. So we come back next week and we'll see them in the pond too. If you that video, be sure to smash the like button and if you'd like to see more, be sure to subscribe. So make sure you come back next week and see what's happening. But until next time, stay salty. You.